how to prepare and use glassware is key for titrations, and this can be asked as part of any titration question in question one. Here we'll take a look at the burette and the correct procedure for using it. In setting up the burette, it should be clamped vertically, and throughout its use, we should be always checking that there are no air bubbles present, as this would give a false volume. We prepare the burette in the same way as we prepared the pipette. We first rinse it with deionized water to remove any impurities, and then we rinse it with the solution it's going to contain. This ensures that any drops remaining on the inside of the burette will be exactly the same as those that it will eventually contain. In using the burette, all readings should be taken from the bottom of the meniscus at eye level. In filling it, we will use a funnel. We first fill above the zero centimeter cubed mark. The funnel should be removed, so any drops remaining in the funnel don't fall during the titration to give a false volume. And then we open the tap to run the liquid through to fill the tip of the burette, which is also included in the volume reading. We will stop when the bottom of the meniscus is at the zero centimeter cube mark. In using data for the burette in our calculations, the volume reading taken from the solution in the burette will usually have a number to one decimal place, not the round 25 cm cubed, for example, that you often get for the conical flask solution. If you receive more than one titer values, you will take an average of them. Take the average of any titers within 0.1 cm cubed of each other and use this as your average titer. As always, correct use of any of the glassware involved in titrations can be asked in any titration, so make sure you understand all of these key points. We'll go through the other pieces of glassware in the next videos, so follow to make sure not to miss them.